it doesn't change. You've still got the cheeky chat chick mind works. Tell us about why you got involved in Well I think my friends have got a lot to do with it. Sam and <coughs> Danny <coughs> Pearl and Danny they phoned me up. Oh got news to me. I don't see them very often because they moved out of my square. So uh, they phoned me up such a fancy doing this um, acoustic thing. And although I, I dread doing acoustic things, I do them quite often just because I, I don't enjoy being scared, but it's so nice to finish the set. So I, I do that um, because, I, I, because I'm arsed and because a lot of people who are playing are, are old friends and it's nice to catch up every now and then and see what they're do, doing, you know. Indeed, indeed. Is, is Christ the charity that you support regularly? Is it one of the things that you can live before? I don't know. I do all sorts of things. And half the time I don't really know about it because they're sort of automatic. It's just like putting things in different pockets. And um, yeah, but I, I, I think about doing sh sort of charity work. I was thinking about it today when I was rehearsing. I thought it's quite odd, you know, it's the same as doing normal work. Because when I do normal work, I don't seem to get paid. So, so I think everything I do is a sort of charity work. Do you like these small, smaller, intimate well, well, I'm doing just I'm just doing acoustic and my acoustic guitar, just me and a guitar. So that's always a bit scary. But I, I like smaller ones. I don't like big venues. I think they're, you know, a bit cold and impersonal and all that. Uh, but but the thing is, with these sorts of things, everybody sees mistakes. You've just got to relax and realise that actually, audience prefer mistakes to things that go perfectly. I was just listening to this jam song on the way here. I thought I'd do that. And um, there's a few sort of folk tunes that I was going to do. I was going to do a couple of David Graham songs um, and another Camdenite. And uh, it's just a few of my own, a couple of new ones, a couple of old ones, and, and a couple of few instrumentals that I've written. And, and, and really, I haven't figured it out. I'm just going to go along. Because my slot is 4 to 4.30, and that is where I have my lowest amount of energy during the day. That's when I'm normally on the sofa. <coughs> um, you know, having a kip, so I've got lots of energy for London tonight. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about playing local New York? You're a local man yourself. Is it nice playing right around the corner? Yeah, I, like, I played a show here once before, and I fell off the stage and nearly broke my lovely guitar. But that went quite well. It was really very cold though that, that day. But yes, I, I, <coughs> Camden's all right. You know that they might be knocking everything down soon, which might make it sort of um, no point in living here anymore. But um, I don't. You know, I spend time in, in the countryside too. Following Alex, as you said, I was there first, <laughs> and in the other direction. Perfect. All right. Well, that's brilliant. Right. Thank you.